All right, I had a viewer ask about FM modulation and how you would decode FM modulation. It's not, uh, it's not trivial, but I'll try to show a simple idea. Uh, there are, uh, you know, half a dozen different ways to demodulate FM, but um, there's one simple one to understand, so I'm going to show that now. So let's talk about modulation in general. Um, I'm going to be using a, uh, an, an old analog uh, spectrum analyzer because I think, it, I think it displays easier and the knobs are easier for me to control. So uh, it's not the greatest spectrum analyzer. In fact, it's pretty bad, uh, but uh, it gives a nice picture on the Rigel scope here. And it does drift, okay? So I'm going to be constantly kind of bringing it over to the center. So don't worry about it drifting. Um, that's just temperature variations in the, uh, in the uh, YIG oscillator. So uh, we have a center carrier. And let me explain it also is that this, don't ignore that one. It's just a, a spur from the, uh, from the analyzer. It's a zero refresh rate thing. Anyway, so let's, uh, let's take a look at a 70 megahertz signal, okay? So we have 70 megahertz CW carrier, and so it just, it's just there, right? And so that's uh, obviously um, the uh, spectrum versus uh, amplitude, right? And so let me turn on AM modulation. Now I'm gonna do, be doing things really, really slow so you get, you get the idea, okay? So um, this is AM modulation that's going up and down, and I have it modulating right now at one hertz, okay? So one cycle per second. So one cycle per second, the amplitude goes up and down, up and down, and up and down, okay? So that's AM modulation, okay? Amplitude modulation. Okay, so let's turn on FM modulation. And this is FM modulation. FM modulation is that we're going to change the frequency with a, uh, a, a, a one hertz cycle per second, okay? And we can change the amount of deviation. How far does it swing in, uh, in one, one second? So here it's going twice the distance. I've changed it from 10 kilohertz deviation to 20 kilohertz deviation, okay? So let's go back to 10 kilohertz deviation. That's a pretty standard number sometimes. Um, so every second it's sweeping um, 10 kilohertz span, okay? So AM modulation, FM modulation. Um, so AM modulation is up and down. And uh, I'll show you a circuit, but AM modulation is very easy to detect. You just uh, basically rectify it just like a, a power supply. You run it in a diode and you uh, follow the tops of the waveform and the top of the waveform up, goes up and down at your audio frequency. So as long as, you can, as long as you can measure the top of your waveform with a peak detector, then it's very easy to demodulate AM. But FM's moving this direction, so that's not gonna work. So, uh, what if we could magically change up and down motion, I mean side to side motion into up and down motion? We already know how to do up and down motion. So if we can convert side to side motion into up and down motion, eh, we're golden, right? We already know how to do that. So um, we're gonna do that by uh, putting in a filter, all right? So imagine there's a bandpass filter here, right? And if we're inside the bandpass filter, then nothing changes. But if we're right on the edge of the bandpass filter, then the signal is going to go into the bandpass and out of the bandpass and into the bandpass and out of the bandpass. And the amplitude is going to go up and down and up and down. So uh, I ha actually have a 70 megahertz filter here. So let's put that in the circuit. And there we go. So I have the uh, frequency adjusted. Let me, uh, let me change the frequency. Uh, let's see here. So now we're on the left-hand side of the, uh, of the filter. Now we're sort of in the middle of the filter. And now we're on the right-hand side of the filter. Um, and so we're operating on this slope. Over there, we were operating on this slope. And so you can see that by adding some type of filter, we can change side-to-side -side motion into up-and-down motion. 
And as long as we can do that, then we can run it into an AM detector and we can do the same thing. So let me go back to, uh, to the left-hand side image. Actually, it's a nicer picture, I think. So it's going up and down and up and down and up and down. And it's doing this up and down motion exactly at the modulation frequency. So um, it's quite easy to uh, quite easy to do that. This is called slope detection, and slope detection is probably the easiest way to do uh, FM demodulation. Now, slope detection is going to have a problem with line linearity. It's very hard to build a, a, a filter with a, a a perfectly linear straight, uh, you know, slope side. So they generally have some distortion, um, but there are some ways to get around that a bit. But this is probably the easiest way to do uh, FMD modulation. Okay, uh, I've changed the setup so that now the uh, signal is going into the oscilloscope and we're looking at it on a time scale. So this is time versus amplitude. So this is our AM modulation. It's going up and down and up and down. And uh, let me change, that's one cycle per second. Let me change it to uh, one kilohertz. And so now it's, it's going up and down at one kilohertz. It's hard for us to see that. Uh, let, me, let me back out a bit. And there we go. That's what people would normally associate with AM modulation, that it's uh, uh, 70 megahertz is wiggly here where it's real solid and then this up and down motion is at 10 is at 1 kilohertz this is a 1 kilohertz uh, 1 kilohertz modulation this is 100% modulation where it goes all the way to zero okay so that's what AM modulation looks like and like I said if you put this into a peak detector and then your uh, peak detector would follow the crest and it would just go up and down and up and down at 1 kilohertz so FM modulation is a little more difficult to see uh, in the uh, time domain because we're at 70 megahertz, but we're only wiggling back and forth. Um, if I wiggled it back and forth at one hertz, you wouldn't see it at all. So right now I'm wiggling back and forth at um, modulating at 20 kilohertz, which is as far as I can go here. So uh, this is a phase. The phase is basically changing it at 20 kilohertz going back and forth. Um, so you can kind of see that the, the frequency is jiggling, and, uh, but the, mod, but the uh, amplitude is, is, is staying the same. So that's FM modulation. So people who like diagrams, let me draw a couple. Uh, I talked about them, but it's better to see a picture sometimes. So if we have a, uh, uh, an AM modulated signal, and we try to capture those peaks, uh, we basically just run that into a diode and a capacitor, and then the output will just be this signal. It'll just capture the peaks, okay? And uh, you might need to put a little resistor here to bring it back down. It might just go up and stay there, so you might want to have a resistor uh, to pull it back down. But this is a uh, AM demodulator, right? AM detector. So, so AM, okay? Now the way that we converted our FM signal into an AM signal is that we had a uh, filter, okay? And our filter, uh, the center of the um, signal where we're gonna put here, okay? So if this is a F, then we're gonna have F prime, which is a little bit lower. So if we put the uh, modulation here, uh, sometimes the, the peak will be here, sometimes it will be here, and so it will basically be going up and down. It'll be traveling along this slope. It'll be going up and down. So as the uh, frequency goes uh, back and forth, the amplitude goes up and down. And we did that over on, on this side too, remember? We tried it on this side and it went up and down and over here it went up and down. And um, once we get that up and down motion, then we just put it into, uh, into this circuit and uh, we have an FM detector. So that is slope demodulation.